Welcome to the world of Faster Pussycat. Kill, Kill, a 1965 film that thrusts you into a whirlwind of high-octane action and fierce female protagonists. Directed by Russ Mayer, this cult classic spins a tale of three go-go dancers whose thirst for adrenaline leads them into a series of gripping, unexpected events. The movie's magnetic pull lies not only in its unapologetic portrayal of female strength, and empowerment, but also in its gritty, raw cinematography that captures the essence of its time. One might wonder, is there a specific scene in this film that lingers, leaving an indelible mark on your memory? Or perhaps, the allure of the classic Hollywood actor within this dynamic cast piques your interest. Now, before we delve deeper, have you ever found yourself reminiscing about a cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Here are some intriguing tidbits about the film. Its non-linear narrative style challenged traditional storytelling norms. While the cast's performances, especially Tura Satana's compelling portrayal of Varla, continue to captivate audiences across generations. So, which aspect of Faster Pussycat? Kill, Kill, resonates with you the most. Share your thoughts and experiences with us below. Faster Pussycat. Kill, Kill, emerged in 1965 as a cult classic, epitomizing the exploitation film genre with its audacious storytelling. Directed by Russ Mayer, the film followed the exploits of three go-go dancers who embark on a violent spree across the desert, seeking thrills and fortune. Varla, the enigmatic and dominant leader of the trio, becomes embroiled in a fateful encounter with a young couple, triggering a chaotic sequence of events driven by power, aggression, and revenge. The movie's magnetic allure lies in its bold portrayal of female empowerment and raw, unapologetic aggression, embodied by the iconic characters of Varla, Rosie, and Billy. Its unique blend of exaggerated action, provocative themes, and memorable dialogue contributed to its enduring impact on pop culture, influencing subsequent filmmakers and leaving an indelible mark on the exploitation genre, celebrated for its boundary-pushing storytelling and unabashed attitude. Jura Satana, a pivotal figure in the 1965 film, praised Russ Mayer's approach to portraying women. She highlighted his commitment to showcasing strong female characters, emphasizing their empowerment and physical strength. Despite the film initially not gaining widespread success upon release, it has since carved its place as a cult classic, earning recognition through screenings at various film festivals and art house theaters. In a 2007 issue, Entertainment Weekly ranked the movie prominently on its list of guilty pleasures, acknowledging its enduring appeal to audiences seeking audacious storytelling. Mayer's feminist stance, as noted by Satana, underscores the portrayal of women in his films as powerful and confident figures, contributing to the lasting impact of the movie on pop culture and subsequent filmmakers. Varla's Porsche 356 degrees Celsius in the film boasted unique radio buttons labeled LMMUU, a nod to European radio band designations. The significance. It marked a shift from the American AM FM standard. Interestingly, Sue Bernard, playing Linda, was 16 during filming and couldn't drive yet. Despite its initial reception, the film landed a spot in 1001 movies you must see before you die. These seemingly trivial details add layers to the 1965 classic, hinting at both technicalities and the youthful cast's behind-the-scenes experience. Such nuances contribute to the movie's intrigue, often overlooked in discussions about its bold themes and impact on pop culture. The film's inclusion in the prestigious list attests to its lasting significance, beyond the exploits and provocations it's famous for. Tura Satana, the lead actress in the film, owned her image rights. This meant Russ Meyer needed her permission and sometimes paid her royalties for poster changes or re-releases. John Waters counted this movie among his favorites. During filming, the crew stayed at the Adobe Motel in Johannesburg a town in Kern County, Ka, set amidst the Mojave Desert's northwestern part. It sprouted during a late 19th century gold rush after California's famous gold rush. These insights shed light on the film's behind-the-scenes dynamics, from image rights to the favored status it holds among iconic filmmakers. Its filming location hints at the movie's desert backdrop, adding depth to its setting. 
Quentin Tarantino, the acclaimed filmmaker, once had plans for a reimagining of the cult classic Faster, Pussycat. Kill, kill. However, this envisioned remake never materialized beyond the development phase. His interest in revisiting the bold narrative, driven by the exploits of three go-go dancers, reflects the enduring impact of the original film. Tarantino's consideration hints at the timeless allure and significance of the story's themes, notably its unapologetic portrayal of female empowerment and raw aggression. Interestingly, the catfight scene between Rosie and Billy in the film was intentionally unscripted, adding a palpable realism to their conflict. Director Russ Mayer's direction to refrain from rehearsal heightened the authenticity, resulting in genuine moments like hair pulling and sand throwing. This unorthodox approach contributed to the film's distinct, impactful scenes, capturing the essence of its audacious storytelling. The car Varla drives in the film is a Porsche 356 degrees Celsius. This sleek and iconic vehicle became more than a prop. It was a symbol of Varla's power and presence on screen. The Porsche, with its unique radio buttons labeled LMNUU, subtly hinted at a shift from the American AM FM standard, adding a layer of detail that might have gone unnoticed amidst the film's bold themes. Varla's command behind the wheel paralleled her dominance within the trio of go-go dancers, reinforcing the character's aura of control and aggression. The choice of this specific car encapsulated the essence of Varla's persona, portraying her as a force to be reckoned with on the road and in the desert landscape where the story unfolds. The filming locations of this iconic 1965 film have sparked some debate. Contrary to claims, the Adobe Hotel wasn't in Johannesburg, but in Mojave, closer to key scenes like the old man's house and the salt flats. Interviews with cast and crew confirmed the Pink Pussycat Club on Santa Monica BLVD. In Hollywood is the site for club scenes, now a restaurant named Delilah. Ross Emmond Lake, not far from the Adobe Motel, served as the dry lake setting, while the gas station featured was in Randsburg, a desert gold mining town north of Mojave. These locations, different from what's been documented, add intriguing layers to the film's backdrop, offering a new perspective on its setting and atmosphere. The film gained a UK certificate in 1980, marking a delayed approval for its screening across the pond. Interestingly, the Spice Girls say Yal be their video paid homage to this movie, likely unnoticed by their younger audience. This nod in the music video reflected the enduring influence of this iconic film on pop culture, subtly woven into a generation's entertainment. The delayed certification in the UK and the Spice Girls' homage both underscore the lasting impact of this movie, even beyond its initial release. As the curtains draw close on our cinematic journey, allow the essence of faster, pussycat, kill, kill, to linger within. This cult classic isn't just celluloid, it's a magnetic force that etches its indelible mark on the soul of every viewer. Perhaps it's the fierce energy of its characters or the unapologetic rebellion against norms that resonates, urging introspection into our own attitudes toward authority and freedom. What's your story? Your take on this wild ride of a film? Did the electrifying performances or the unrelenting pace leave an imprint on your thoughts? Share your musings, let your memories dance alongside the contours of this unique masterpiece. For within these shared reflections lie the true testament of its impact and timelessness. So, as the credits roll, take a moment. Reflect, ponder, and unravel the threads of your own connection with this cinematic gem. Your thoughts are the vivid hues painting a diverse canvas of interpretations, adding depth to the legacy of faster pussycat. Kill, kill, thank you for sharing this cinematic expedition, for lending your thoughts to this tantalizing discourse. Your engagement enriches the tapestry of our collective cinematic experience. 